Hi everyone, it's Tom here from WB Trading and welcome along to another in the series of videos we're putting together to look through the TradingView platform. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I'll put a link to those in the description. Essentially, we covered using the charting software, applying indicators, adding alerts, and also using some of the drawing tools that are quite useful in TradingView. On today's video, we're going to do something different and we're going to look at the TradingView screener tool. Now the screener tool can be a really, really powerful piece of software and it's great that we get it offered on TradingView. What it essentially does is allows us to filter through a variety of fundamental and technical parameters and essentially filter down quite a lot of market data in a very short space of time. With that said, we'll jump in, I'll load up TradingView and we'll go through some examples of how to use the screener. We're going to start, as always, on the TradingView homepage. And if we go up to the top here for the different selection options, we can see there's one called screeners. It gives you a few options here, stocks, forex, crypto, and then some heat maps, which we'll come on to in a little bit. And I'm just going to start by going through the forex screener. All of them work fairly similar, but it's worth just starting in this place first. Once we get this loaded up, we can see that we have quite a lot of markets on view and quite a lot of options, providing us with a lot of data to go through. Now, before we start adding our own filters, let's look at some of the options available to us on the screen right now. So we start over in this corner here, you can see that it's highlighted as performance. And essentially this changes the columns that we have available at the start. If you see, we go to overview, this changes and it gives us some different data. So some of this will be familiar to you, obviously, you know, bid ask data, fairly straightforward. If we go on to say oscillators, it's gonna give us quite a few signals here that we may find useful depending on our trading strategy. And, you know, as we go through the sections, you can see that there's a variety of options. One thing that is appearing at the moment that may confuse people is what's happening with this rating column that comes up on a few of the different options. So if we go through and start with overview, you can see there's an option here called technical rating. We'll come on to that in a little bit, but it's essentially based on what's happening in the markets against a variety of technical indicators, trading view puts a buy, a sell, or some strong buys and strong sells against each market that we're looking at. Now, if we go over to the top corner again here, you can see next to the selection, we have a little icon showing three columns. And this is essentially the way that we can select what we're seeing in our comparisons. As you can see, there's an awful lot here to go through, and I certainly won't go through every one, but you can filter this by almost exactly what you need to find in general. And there are a few other options that are hidden through. So for example, on here, you know, we have some basic data, but if we wanted to go through and say, add um, you know, an exponential moving average, add the five period, it's gonna come up here. And then what we can do along any of these column headers is we can click them to filter and also to sort. So click at the top, it's gonna sort, and you can see that it's now sorted these out and click the other way, obviously, it's gonna go high to low. In this box here, we can filter. So you know, for a particularly an exponential moving average, we could select a specific parameter. If we go say to the technical rating box and filter, maybe we want to filter by everything that TradingView considers to be a strong buy here. And there we go. And you can still then arrange any of the other columns, high to low or whatever parameters they're representing. To get back to what we had on the screen before, we can basically reverse what we've done a couple of ways. So if you wanna remove the filter that you've got on here, just a reset button, take this off. Or if you've got quite a few filters on, we can go up into this top box here and reset all. That will basically take every filter you've got off if you have multiple ones on. So as you can see, quite straightforward, quite quick to filter and arrange by whatever parameters you need to see. Now, one thing that we can do, and we'll focus on Forex pairs at the moment, is refine the markets that we're looking at. And as you can see up here, 
just above the technical rating, we have major and minor pair selected. So for Forex, Trading View groups them in three bunches, and we don't have exotic selected by default. So if we wanted to only see majors, for example, we can just unfilter that. Or if we want to see all three, add them all in, or any combination, you know, whatever's going to be easiest for you in terms of looking through. We can also filter by the time frame. So this is a daily check. And as you can see, we have a variety of time frames here that we can look at. So if you want to see what they were doing in terms of technical rating on the hourly compared to the daily or potential indicator on a time frame, we can use this option here to change around. It will require a pro account if we're going to a certain time frame. So for example, if we go to monthly, we're okay. But if you go below that, you will require the pro account. Let's now have a look at how we can use some of the filters to understand and check through on technical indicators a lot quicker than manually clicking through each market. So I'm on the overview tab. I've changed it to just major, major and minor pairs and I'm on the daily time frame. So I'm just gonna go to the trend following tab here. And as you can see, as default, we've got a moving average rating and we've got a few options here for moving averages. And of course, we can add in any additional ones or remove these if we need to. So let's just use the simple moving average 20 period. And if we go to the filter tab, we get a couple of options. Now you'll have seen this if you saw the alerts video, pretty similar layout. But let's say we wanna see if you know it's crossed over with the 200 moving average. So as you can see there, if we do that, it's filtered down to two options on the major and minor pairs on the daily chart where the 20 SMA has crossed the 200 SMA. So a lot quicker than having to manually click through all of the markets individually. Even if you already have those indicators saved as a template, this is a much faster way to do it. And of course, we're not just limited to using the simple moving averages, and we're not just limited to using the crossover. We can check a variety of parameters, and it saves a significant amount of time, particularly if you're looking through a very large selection of markets. For example, you know a lot of stock markets instead of just the major and minor currency pairs. One final thing we're gonna look at before we have a look at the stock screener is how we can save the column layouts that we've selected just to go back to for easy use in the future. So if we go over to here on this side, you can see that we've got an option to say save columns as. So whatever the layout and the options you've picked, we can save these just as we've got these presets if I just open up this and just call this SMA20, if I save this here, you can see now that we've got an extra option here. We can favorite it, we can rename it, and we can delete it if we need to. So it's just there to help you if you want a number of different screeners, easy to just go between them using this method. Now we're gonna have a look at how the stock screener works. So as in the top here, I've just selected stock screener, instead of the previous we were on the forex and as you can see layout is pretty much the same with a few more options and the reason for this is there's a lot more fundamental data behind the stocks that trading view will show you and so we can filter by a lot more parameters we still have some of the ones that we've seen in terms of the forex screener you know we can look at technical rating here and if we go to the trend following tab this would be familiar as well with like simple moving averages and of course We've got the selection to add extras in, but we also have a number of new options. You know, we can look through valuation, we can look through dividend results and compare. You know, We can look for a variety of things if you're looking for fundamental data. Now, just another couple of things to point out that are different on the stock screener. If we go over here, we can see that at the moment we have all the USA markets selected. So we can see down here, if I manage to scroll, a number of different markets around the world that we can select. So if we want to look through, for example, United Kingdom, we can select that instead and it'll change to the markets available there. Same headings, it's just a case of obviously different stocks that are selected. You can see here we can change currencies if we're deviating away from the base, which is USA. But it's just important to remember, we make sure if you want that on the default currency or comparing USD, select the right one, particularly if you're looking through some fundamental data. Now back on the overview tab here for stocks, 
Another feature that I find particularly useful, and this is from speaking to quite a few traders that use this and deal heavily in the stock markets, is we can select specific sectors. So, for example, you know, if you wanted to see how all finance sectors or energy sectors were doing, there's options to pick along here. And that, I think, is a really useful feature, obviously just on the stock markets. A couple of other things to mention, which we can also do on Forex screeners, but I thought I would cover it here. If we right click on any of these, it's quite easy to flag them up, different colors if you require different symbols for whatever reason. One final thing I wanted to cover using the screener, and we can do this on the stock screener, the Forex or the crypto screeners. If for example, we wanna find out any more detail about a particular market, potentially see the chart, we can just click the name of it here. So for example, Sky Harbor Group, and it'll load up the chart. Now for some markets, they'll be locked behind a pro account. So for example, if we load up this, it'll come to the same screen that we'll be familiar with if you saw the charting videos, and we can click advanced chart to get to that feature where we can start plotting out more detail on the chart. That's everything we're gonna cover on today's video. Hopefully that was useful if you're fairly new to using the screener tool, or you weren't aware that it existed on TradingView. As always, if there's anything else you'd like to see or any questions, please leave us a comment below and look forward to seeing you on the next video.